guys, so I'm going to be doing another get ready with me and this one's going to be a little different than the last one because I'm actually going to be here like putting on everything right now and I'm actually going to be talking during it. It's not going to be like fast motion like it was last time. This is going to be me getting ready with you guys or you guys getting ready with me. I don't know. I lost my train of thought. But yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So I have already done all of my like facial skin care kind of stuff. I did moisturizer, uh, everything like that. So we're going to start off with concealer and I'm going to use the Maybelline Dream Let Me Touch Concealer like I always do. Put a bit on the back of my hand to work from the brush and then put it under my eyes. And I'm using the mirror on my computer, guys. Like, I'm filming, and then right below the um, camera is, like, a screenshot of what is going on right now. So I can actually, like, do my makeup. And so if I'm looking down, that's why I'm looking down at the screen, which is right below the camera. So now I'm just going to pat that in. And you, like I said, and I don't... I think it was my everyday makeup tutorial. You want to use your ring finger and you want to pat, not rub. Alright, I think that's that's good. You look at the mirror in my naked palette real quick. Yeah. Okay, so I'm actually not done with that. I don't know why I closed it up. But I'm going to highlight right there, down the bridge of my nose, and right there above my eyebrows. Other one. <laughs> and this one you can rub. It does like above the eyebrows as it gives a little bit more lift. And right like here where I put it a minute ago, I think that like draws more attention to that area, which I kind of like. And then down the bridge of your nose, it just adds a nice highlight there. I'm going to go in with my regular Maybelline Cover Stick Concealer. Sorry, all my products are over here and they're like scattered. <laughs> and I have a few blemishes right kind of like under my eye on my nose a little bit. Because, you know, everybody breaks out. It happens, especially in their teenage years. Like me. Yeah. So. It happens. You just gotta go with the flow. Using foundation, guys. This is a big step for me. I've only ever used it a few times. So I'm shaking it. And this is the Maybelline Dream Nude Air Foam foundation. Um, it's not my favorite foundation. Like, I haven't used many. But it's... But the ones I've used, it's not my favorite. I think I prefer liquid foundations more, but... Hello. That's a interesting squirt there. Probably a lot. So, and I'm just going to rub that on my face. Okay, now that I'm done with my foundation, it may not look the best, because again, I'm not a pro with this, but... I'm just going to set it with my Avon setting powder and natural, yeah, neutral, natural, whatever. Same thing. I'm just going to get it on the powder puff and just blend that in. And this is a little dark, so this actually may be pretty good because then it'll kind of match my regular skin tone a little better. But we're done with like all that face stuff. I'm going to go into blush. Let's get that over with. And I'm going to, if I can get it open, be using my Claire's Makeup Kit, this little menu one that you guys saw in my last Get Ready With Me. And I'm going to be using the two blushes that I used last time. I used two. I'm going to be using an Avon brush to apply them. So I'm just going to mix the two together, dot on my hand a little bit. Swipe it across the apples of my cheeks. We're going to get into the eyes. So I'm starting out with my Urban Decay Primer Potion, as always. And I'm just going to prime 
my eyelids. So now that that's done, I'm going to use my Mary Kay base in metallic taupe that you guys have seen before. And I'm going to just put a little bit of that on my eyes. Not too much because I don't want to add too much color. Right? Now that we're done with that, I'm going to go into my eyeshadows and I'm going to use my Avon eyeshadow brush as always. I'm going to take the eyeshadows from the makeup kit and I'm going to take the center one here, which is kind of like an orange color. I'm going to take my mirror from the Naked Basics so I can get more detail. Just put that all over my lid. And on top of that, I'm going to use this gold shade right here. Because I really like the look of it. This gold bronzy shade. So again, I'm just going to apply that right on top. On the outer half, I'm going to take this metallic goldish color. I don't know how to describe it. It's really weird. It goes on more gold, but in the pan, it's really like this puke green. It's weird. But I'm just going to put that on the outer half. Then I'm going to take this brown up here. I'm going to put that in my crease. I don't know why I keep shutting the mirror. Lastly, I'm going to take this highlight color up here. This little guy there. And I'm just going to put him under my eyebrows. And then... I'm going to take a lip brush like this one and I'm going to go in with the Naked Basics palette. I'm going to take Crave. I'm going to put that on as eyeliner and I and I use a lip brush because I find it's it gets a more precise line. Okay, so I'm done with that. I'm just gonna quickly reclose up my makeup kit here. So it came open. Okay, so now I'm going to take my Maybelline Define Align uh, eyeliner in soft black. I'm going to get out my Naked Basics palette again, and I'm going to tight line my upper lashes. So now that they're tight lined, I'm going to close that and I'm going to curl my lashes. Might as well just keep this thing open. I decided not to use this, like the screen. Now I'm going to apply my Mary Kay Lash Love Mascara, of course, to my lashes. And then I'm just going to recurl them again because this mascara doesn't hold a curl very well. I love it, but it doesn't hold a curl. So, just recurling. And then, last thing for the eyes is I'm going to take my Avon uh, dark brown eyeliner and I'm going to tight line or not tight line, what I'm going to line my waterline let's see if I can do this one handed, I don't know if I can what? that went well okay and lastly I'm going to apply my EOS lip balm in Summer Fruit. I'm 
Then I'm going to take my MAC lipstick and syrup. And then I'm taking the Eternal Lips Duo in Devotion. And I'm starting out with the very, very dark, like, vampire color here. And I'm going to put that on my lips, right on top of syrup. Just a little bit, not too much. And then right on top of that, I'm going to take the lighter shade. Make sure to get a lot on there. And like I said, I'm going to put that right on top. Like that. And then I'm just going to fix my cupid's bow here and get any excess lipstick off, lip gloss lipstick. If you don't know how to do that, the most common trick is like take your finger and just put it in your mouth and then slide it out and that gets any excess lip gloss off. And that's everything. I hope you guys enjoy getting married with me. Tell me if you would like to see any more of these types of videos. And yeah, I guess that's everything. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.